Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Well, I've um, repackaged um, that prototype uh, tuner into the box that I wanted to put into, which is this box here. Uh, and as I, uh, I mentioned, the reason why I wanted to put it into here is it just provides that uh, much greater um, protection on all the buttons and switches. So you can push and hold, and, and I can throw that into a pack and smash it around, and, and, uh, and all of those will be protected, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, all in all, it's actually working really well, which is, which is good. Um, no real change to, in fact, no change at all to the um, schematic other than what I mentioned about using a 12 uh, turn or position a rotary switch there for the taps on that T68-6. Uh, I'm now tapping from uh, the third turn uh, through to the 14th turn. Um, the only other change, it's not really a change, it's an error that I mentioned last time. That potentiometer there that I'm using to adjust the sensitivity on the meter uh, is actually a 50k ohm pot and not a 10k, so that was an error there. And that, um, no change at all, so it's just basically been repackaged uh, into this, um, this container here and just using that ground plane there to be a common ground, uh, attach the counterpoise and all the way through to the input RF. Uh, now I did take it down just before, down to the local park and set up the antenna. Um, I endeavoured to record that, um, I'm not going to include in this video because the reflections as you can see it were just shocking and uh, I just couldn't get a decent image on this and there's no point putting out rubbish where you can't see it so um, I, uh, I'm not going to put that up. But suffice to say uh, it tuned up nicely on 80 metres spot on, tuned up on 40 metres spot on, uh, tuned up on 30 metres spot on. Uh, and was very close when it came to the 20 meter band. Um, that's not surprising. I understand that an antenna typically would be good for, say, twice its operating frequency, or a, the second octave, I think it's called. Um, so trying to squeeze out that third, um, that, that third harmonic was um, going to be difficult, i.e. that 20 meter band. So, but that's fine because I don't actually use the uh, the 20 meter band, so I'm, I'm quite happy to leave that as is. I, I don't think I need to do any more tweaks on that. So, um, the other question was, what, what were the antenna lengths and the counterpoise lengths? So the uh, antenna length was 41 and a half meters. Um, I'm probably going to drop that back down to 41 meters and, and have a bit of a just just to try it. Um, the counterpoise itself was 6 metres, uh, and those two figures there are pretty close to what you see online uh, with regards to an 80 metre uh, half-wave end fed, which is typically sort of 126 feet or 41 metres for the antenna, and 5 odd metres for the counterpoise. So I'm not far off there, so I might actually just, like I say, bring that antenna down to 41 and I'll, uh, I'll try it again. Um, there was another question, uh, in fact I'll just mention it now, somebody asked if this could be used uh, on the 30 meter band with an 8 meter uh, antenna. Um, I did try that down there, uh, while it was close it, it wasn't good enough so uh, it certainly wasn't going to present uh, a nice 50 ohm J0 uh, to the, the transmitter so I guess the short answer is no. Right, what else did I want to mention? I think that's pretty bull at all actually, um, I, I won't keep this video very long. Um, suffice to say I'm pretty happy with that and it's turned out is exactly how I wanted in terms of this little container and, uh, and the rigidity and, the, and I guess the protection that will be afforded uh, once, it goes into, um, once it goes into the pack. So with that I will say 73 and now uh, start to have a think about this uh, single sideband radio uh, and where I'm going to take that. Anyway, 73, take care, stay safe and uh, we shall see you next time. Cheers all.